Next, we're going to cover constants and enumerations. Let's start with constants. So constant is just a variable that cannot be changed. So let's try doing something like this. And I'm just within this folder already, so I can just do a go run. So now what happens if we try to change this pi to something else? And we can see we have an error already, cannot assign to pi. Now if we want to create a group of constants, um, instead of writing const name such as something like this, we can actually wrap this in parentheses just like using a variable. Let's do that here. And then we can just remove the constant and then our formatter will fix it for us. So this is defined within the function. What we could do is move this outside to create a scope for the entire package here. And this is normally what you would see. You would see your constants up at the top of the file. Now let's change this up and use this format for enumerations. And we're going to create a state of enumerations for cooking, such as, let's say, prep um, state cooking state done. Now these all need a type. So let's set it to um, an integer. And we can do this just by saying one, two, three. This is how you can assign a number to each constant specific number. We could do five, we could do 10. Now let's print this out. Now what if you wanted to have an incrementing number um, instead of having to type one, two, three, four. And the way you do that is with the term iota. And so what that will do, it will count up for each constant in this list here. Let's give that a try. And it starts at zero. Now if you want to do start at, let's say, one, you could say iota plus one. Now one thing I've seen in the real world is, let's say you have a, another set of enumerations, color green, color blue, the underlying type for each of these is an integer. Let's say you want to create a function that will handle the state. So here we're going to do, and it's just going to print it. So what this is doing is just printing the actual constant value here. Let's say in your code, you accidentally use one of these constants. You would not know that there's an issue. You're using the same type that is an integer. Let's fix this by creating a custom type, type state integer. We're going to have it the same type as before. So right here we would put state. And then down here we would say state. Now this works for state prep. Let's say we accidentally pass in a color green. You can see this still works. So we still have something else to do here. We need to create another type for the color enumeration. And this is because the underlying type of 
this is an integer which allows you to still match to a custom type up here. So we still need this to show the type. And now we can see we're getting an error there.